So at the University of Salford, what we are doing is like we're trying to predict the overall noise generated by this kind of urban air mobility or air taxis. Try to look for a different aspects of the propeller, maybe like number of blades at, at what RPM it is running, at what height it is running, and at what load capacity we are trying to uh, build an aircraft for. So we're trying to give a kind of crucial inputs to the aircraft manufacturers where you need to put an kind of propeller and how many propellers you may be needed for a certain aircraft configuration. Based on that, we we have the team which will work on the human perception of this noise and that will help us to build guidelines for this kind of urban air mobility. Why is greener? Because we are not using conventional aircrafts which work on hydrocarbons and all and which emits a lot of carbon footprints. So we are here, we are trying to use for electric propulsion system or, or maybe a kind of hybrid propulsion system which will have electric as well as maybe the hydrogen as a, another alternative source. If you try to look for the statistics, uh, what the Aerospace Technology Institute says, like this urban air mobility and like advanced air mobility will grow a kind of something 360 to 464 billion dollar market in the next 20 years.